lights are bright. Hello everyone and welcome to eBay Open 2022. My name is Lorna Dunn. I am head of cross-border trade European sellers at eBay and today I have the privilege to talk to you all about exports. Cross-border trade or CBT as we refer to it within eBay. It's an increasingly complex topic in a very challenging and evolving global landscape. I intend to cover the following topics. So firstly, I'd love to give you all an introduction to cross-border trade and the market. Secondly, I want to take us through the changes which have happened in recent years in the UK export landscape. And then we're gonna come closer to eBay. And I want to talk to you about a back to basics, just to level set everyone in the room on the basics of cross-border trade on eBay. And then last, but most importantly, I want to share with you some key support developments which we have been working on within eBay to support you all on your cross-border trade journey with eBay. But before we get into all of that, first and foremost, eBay is about making global connections. So every day, you, our sellers, are connecting with buyers. And this is happening all over the world on such a global scale. I want to share with you a heartwarming story where eBay sparked joy for a customer living in California who bought from a UK seller quite a surprising purchase. The Nazis came on the trains. My mother had hidden some gold coins. They went through all our stuff and focused on the teddy bear because people were smuggling jewelry and coins into things like stuffed animals. And they cut them to pieces, this dear teddy bear that my grandmother gave me. And they found nothing, of course. eBay is just one of those places where you can put in a search term and get all kinds of responses. I was really pretty darn excited when I saw this particular bear and knew it's just right. It just felt right. Went to a boot sale. There was a guy doing a house clearance and there was this sad teddy sat in the corner. I didn't know what to do with it, but I thought I'll put it on eBay, on a world platform. There must be someone out there who'd love it. Well, I listed it and Peter contacted me, told me his touching story. The Story Project is a way of passing along to younger generations the values of love and acceptance of other human beings who are different. But I think for the kids to hear the story and see the bear, that it'll just be a visual reminder that will stay with them. Quite an amazing story, I think. It resonates so deeply. So eBay is a global platform and we have an incredible reach. When we look at eBay today and look at the global reach of the platform, so eBay is present in 190 markets. For UK sellers, your largest export markets are the US, France, Italy, Germany and Australia. Globally today, eBay has 138 million active buyers, so it's an enormous reach out there. And the question everyone always asks, so what are the buyers actually looking for? Which is really hard to try and break down at such a global scale. Here is a snapshot of categories in some of our larger European markets. This year, import listings have outperformed domestic inventory in these categories within these markets in terms of buyer engagement and also purchasing metrics. 
So you'll see some, you know, really um, important and valuable and high growth categories. So jewelry and watches, media, collectibles. And not surprisingly, some of these categories include more unique inventory, where buyers are really, really searching for something very special or very unique, like what we just saw about that story with Peter and his teddy bear. Also, there can be somewhat less price sensitivity from buyers when they are really searching for that something special. Beyond these European markets, the current dollar to sterling exchange rate is driving a consistent upward trend in eBay UK's exports towards eBay's largest buyer market, the US. Quite honestly, UK exports have never been so competitively priced in the digital age. And we see huge opportunity for UK exporters to look to the US market also. And while I've just shared like a snapshot of you know, categories and markets to think about, everyone's product range and everyone's store and business is unique and therefore your inventory and your opportunities are unique. And we would always recommend do your research, really understand where the opportunity may lay. As you're probably aware, Terapeak is available as a product research tool within your Seller Hub dashboard. What not everyone is aware of is you can use Terapeak across 22 of eBay's markets and you can search your products at a market level depending on where, what market might be interesting for you to target. And then looking forward, the future looks really promising for cross-border trade. So research from McKinsey forecasts that between 2020 and 2030, the 30% of total world retail will be online. So it's one in three purchases will be made online within seven and a half years. It's forecast that cross-border sales volume are forecast to triple in size. And ultimately, it's anticipated that online cross-border volume globally will reach a value of $1 trillion. Just, just mind-blowing when you think of those numbers. And so I'm just going to pause for a minute now because I'd love to hear from our sellers here in the room. Can you give me a quick show of hands? Who here exports on eBay today? Keep your hand up and also raise your hand if you used to export on eBay and don't anymore. Okay, great. So look, we've a really, really good mix of sellers here in the room from long tenured sellers through to newer sellers. And understandably, right, your experience of cross-border trade is varying. And it's not something new for everyone in the room either. However, it's a complex topic and a number of key things have changed, which we're all aware of in the cross-border landscape in the last few years, which has had a huge, huge impact on our UK sellers. Honestly, we hear you. The UK export landscape has become increasingly difficult and increasingly challenging. Now I'm going to share with you what has happened and let's take a look at what those key developments have been. So the last three years has seen some historical changes which have dramatically impacted how we trade across borders. What has happened is confusing, and it can be quite contentious as well. So today, I want to break down the facts and try and simplify for us all what has actually happened. So firstly, Brexit happened. At the start of 2021, the Brexit transitional period ended. And this meant that with the exception of Northern Ireland, the UK is no longer part of the European Customs Union or single market and exporters from the UK now face a new customs border when shipping to Europe. And UK buyers need to pay VAT on European imports. And while this misalignment between UK and European rules 
created huge confusion and friction in the first half of 2021. It was really quickly followed by the new European e-commerce VAT reform package, which came into effect on the 1st of July 2021. And this was huge. It had three significant changes. So firstly, import VAT exemption for low value goods under 22 euro, which was removed. And this means that all goods imported into the EU are now taxable. Secondly, the import one stop shop or IOSS as we refer to it was launched. And the objective of that was to streamline and simplify VAT registration and returns for businesses selling into the EU under 150 euro consignment value. And then thirdly, marketplaces became liable. So VAT liability was shifted to marketplaces like eBay in two instances. So firstly, where goods are imported into the EU with a value of up to 150 euro, and for goods already within the EU, where the seller is a non-EU seller, and that's for all values. As we're all hearing in the media, sellers in Northern Ireland face different issues yet again, as effectively they are within the UK and the EU for the purposes of VAT and customs rules. And this has also caused further confusion. 2022, so one year on since then, we now see the rollout of Ecotaxes, Extended Producer Responsibility or EPR legislation, which I know many of our sellers are raising questions about currently. This legislation is now applying to marketplaces in France and Germany since this year. And the objective of this Ecotax is to make producers responsible for the entire product life cycle of products and packaging that they introduce into a market, from the design of the product right through to end of life, which includes waste management and recycling. So what this means for any sellers who sell in specific categories into Fra to buyers in France and or Germany, they are now responsible to register with the relevant government agency in that market and to update eBay with this registration number. As marketplaces, thus eBay, must also ver verify the seller's compliance. And if all of this wasn't enough, it's a huge amount to digest. There are really, really serious supply chain challenges which have been building over the last three years. So coming out of the COVID pandemic, with the conflict so near to us all, the cost of living crisis and the climate crisis. We hear you, it is not easy out there. And quite honestly, like in eBay, we are grappling with these changes too. They're huge and as Marie said earlier, it's unprecedented, a lot of what's happening. And while we cannot control some of those macroeconomic and regulatory shifts which are happening in the ecosystem around us, there are of course some things which we can control that are within eBay's control. And ultimately, what is within our control is our site experience. And ultimately, how we show up to support you, our sellers, as your marketplace and your platform. We know that we have further to go as we continue to strive for that perfect site experience. eBay is a platform. It's designed to be open for all. And we are working on developments for sellers of all shapes and sizes, and really depending on which path you choose to take on your cross-border journey or what stage of cross-border trade you realize you're at. Now, before I get into those key support developments that I want to share with you today, I thought it might be worth our while just doing a quick back to basics of cross-border trade at eBay, just to really level set everyone in the room.
Here on the screen is the typical road taken by many sellers in the UK on their cross-border trade journey. But of course, as I say, like our sellers are diverse and unique, and it's not always one size fits all, and others will take alternative routes, but this is typically what we would see as a journey. So domestic only. Generally, our sellers, you know, you come to our platform and we would advise you start selling domestically within your local market. You get a handle on your order management, your logistics, your customer services, all of those really key fundamental building blocks to building your successful store. Get a handle on that locally within your local market. When you're ready to take that first step into cross-border trade on eBay, we have in the UK eBay's global shipping program, which is effectively our exports solution for UK sellers to open up and access your inventory across the world. Global Shipping Program, or GSP, is a simple one-click enrollment for sellers, whereby eBay looks after the end-to-end -end export shipment and logistics, but also the pricing to buyers, that end price to buyers for your goods. And for sellers, as many of you will be aware, it's as simple as a domestic sale. So you ship your product to that UK warehouse, global shipping program warehouse, and eBay takes it on from there to your international buyer. It's really simple to enter, low effort, low cost. And then we'll find some sellers who, I guess they've dipped their toe, they've explored the international market, and perhaps you're identifying opportunities. And what I mean by opportunities, it might be specific markets or specific categories where your products seem to be selling quite well and you're interested in going a little bit further in that market. So eBay has the European Sales Booster Program, which is powered by one of our partners, Web Interpret. Web Interpret are an eBay partner. They're here today, um, in case anyone's not aware. They're one of the silver sponsors of today's event. And you can meet the team on floor one today to learn more about their product, but also to speak with them if you're having any challenges with your current um, partnership with them. And the European Sales Booster is a free program for UK sellers, where Web Interpret will take your domestic listing and then they will translate it and actively list it on a number of eBay's European sites. They'll do the full optimization of your listing to the buyer in that chosen market. As I said, it's free, but obviously there's a little bit more effort involved in terms of managing your store, and ultimately order management is the piece that you, as a seller, are in control of. So as you're now moving up the chain or up that path, some sellers want to then take more control of that, of that active, what we would call active CBT listing. And you may choose, you actually want to do this yourself and you really want to represent your products in the best, best possible way that you have full control of on those chosen international markets. And this is where sellers may choose to invest themselves, right? So invest more effort and more cost in translating those listings, managing customer services potentially in that foreign language, and doing all of that yourself independently. And this is where they're optimizing inventory on multiple sites across eBay. And then finally, in some cases, not as common, but we do see some of our larger and much more advanced sellers, I guess, who may choose to forward deploy inventory to a target market and really just set up and operate as a, a local seller within that market. As you go through that path, it requires more effort, can require more investment, but as you go up the chain, the return becomes higher and we see that sales will increase for sellers as they move from basic through to advanced. And really the key differentiator to think about and just boil it down to is at a basic level, you're just opening up your English listing to a global buyer base. When you go advanced, 
you are showing up almost as a local seller in that international market. So you're choosing to show up as a French listing to a French buyer and potentially even as a French operator in that market. So you're almost getting closer to the buyer experience within that market, which of course can ultimately give you better visibility on that destination site. And so, depending on where you might be in that journey or in that cross-border trade journey, there are some key developments which we've been working on to support you, to support our UK sellers in this really, really evolving and changing landscape. Firstly, simplified shipping. Secondly, regular, regulatory support. Thirdly, the cross-border trade handbook, which I'm going to tell you about today. And then fourthly, eBay Academy and the cross-border trade course, which has just launched. I'm gonna go through each of these in a little bit more detail. Simplified shipping. So, depending on how you prefer to handle your export logistics, depending on where you are on that journey, we have a number of solutions which we're working on continuously within the business. So firstly, as I mentioned, eBay's Global Shipping Program, or GSP, really is the simplest and quickest way to make your listings available in over 100 countries. Without changing a thing, you can make your listings most importantly, up to the value of 150 euro visible in the countries of your choice, or worldwide if you prefer, by simply ticking a box. eBay does the full pricing solution to buyers. So eBay calculates the customs duties, taxes, the international shipping costs, and any other associated costs, including the cost you would bear normally as a domestic transaction from the UK seller to UK buyer. So eBay takes that full cost, rolls it in as one final cost, and displays that to the international buyers. And the experience for sellers really is as simple as a domestic sale, whereby you send the order to eBay's UK GSP warehouse, and eBay will take it forward from there. When we look at our data, for sellers who are actively engaged with GSP and are, uh, their account is enrolled, we typically see up to 18% uplift through GSP. But then, of course, there are other sellers where GSP might not fit your business, okay? So perhaps your categories are not eligible or it doesn't suit your price point or you may, for some reason, not enjoy the experience. And we have some sellers who prefer to actively manage your own exports. And we heard you. You've told us you really wanted more support from eBay in managing your own logistics, and especially with delivery duties paid into Europe. Therefore, we are currently piloting a new international shipping platform with parcel to go And it can be accessed through the QR code here. And this new platform is a pilot. It's bringing together discounted international rates from a selection of couriers. It's very simple to actually engage and enroll with. You simply log in to this platform with your eBay account, or if you have an existing parcel to go account, you can use that also. And it will seamlessly pull through your eBay orders. It's a really nice pilot that we're running until the end of October. And if you like it and you're enjoying it and it's you know, proving helpful for your business, we will continue it on beyond that. For those of you who'd like to access the pilot, as I said, the QR code is here on the screen and I appreciate it might be tricky to reach from that side of the room. We um, have a stand upstairs on the second floor, so please come and see us afterwards and we'll um, get you involved in the pilot or at least tell you more details about it if that's what you're interested in hearing about. Secondly, regulatory support. This is one of the biggest friction points I hear from UK sellers who are really operating within the cross-border trade landscape from the UK. 
And as we've all seen and learned more about today, regulations are changing. They're continuously changing. They will change more. And while we, we are not tax experts, we do all need to stay on top of the evolving regulations when trading online. In order to support you, our sellers, in navigating this really, really complex topic, eBay have partnered with Avalara, who are a global tax compliance software company. And they have a local team of UK experts who can help you uncomplicate VAT compliance in order to let you get on with selling with the necessary peace of mind that your business is staying current and compliant in this global operating landscape. Avalara, as part of the partnership, offer preferential rates for eBay sellers to use their services. And they are also available for one-to-one -one consultations. For those of you, for our UK sellers, who need to have that one-to-one -to, -one to just evaluate your needs and understand where your, where your pain points may be. Also, for those who are interested in learning more about this complex and tricky topic of regulations, we um, have developed this dedicated webinar this year for UK sellers, specifically for the UK small medium business seller. So it's Avalar and eBay where we'll talk through the regulations in more detail. Again, this can be accessed through the QR code here on the screen, and you can save it down and use it as a, refer a reference place um, as you, you know, go back to your business. And then finally, I'm delighted as a gold sponsor of today's event, the team from Avalara are also here to take all of your questions related to VAT and regulations. So please, please, you know, maximize the opportunity. The team are here in the ground, and they're experts in their field. And they're here on floor one today, the Avalara stand. Next up, the cross-border trade handbook. So we know that cross-border trade can be a very complex topic. Trust me, I live and breathe it every day. And it's really, you know, can be difficult for sellers to navigate, again, with so many changing regulations and a changing experience. But to support you, our sellers, in your export journey, we have developed the Cross-Border Trade Handbook, which is effectively an A to Z guide or encyclopedia dedicated to our sellers. And it covers everything you may ever wish to know on cross-border trade on eBay. From what to list, how to list, how to promote your inventory internationally, the content which I'm sharing with you here today is available in there. It's a really, really meaningful guide which has been developed by eBay subject matter experts, so it's relevant, up-to-date current content. It's available as self-serve digital content, which again can be accessed through the QR code here. But please do come and see the team and I up on the second floor, um, and we can give you the URL and everything else to access this. And then finally, last but not least, eBay Academy. So we have only just, in the last couple of weeks, uh, released a new course within eBay Academy UK, which is Expand Your Business Internationally. And I hope everyone has already used eBay Academy or checked it out in some shape or form. It's an amazing resource in terms of the content and information which is available for your sellers, and it's available for free. As a, you know, as a business seller in the UK, you have access to this really important information. So this new course, it's 15 minutes long, and it covers everything related to cross-border trade again. It also includes a link to the handbook, which I just referenced. So I'd encourage you all, please go ahead and start learning in eBay Academy, not just in cross-border trade, but on many other topics. You can also like quiz and test yourself at the end, which can be somewhat gratifying or not. Um, but yeah, I would encourage everyone to check it out. So as we reach the end um, of my session today, I really hope I've shared some meaningful or interesting content for you that could be new or just meaningful to take forward in your business. As I said, we fully understand it's hard and it's really complex and we're here to support you and really help you progress in that challenging journey. Wherever you may find yourself in that journey, Perhaps you are one of our newer sellers and you really just don't know where to start with cross-border trade. Log into eBay Academy, 
Do as many courses as you can and also the CBT course for 15 minutes, self-learning and testing on the topic. Or perhaps you are one of our more tenured sellers and like this whole regulatory landscape just has you puzzled, confused and like shaking your confidence a little bit in terms of compliance as well. I would encourage you to speak with an Avalara consultant today for one-to-one -one advice on your regulatory requirements on floor one and help you have that conversation. As I said, the team and I are here on floor two today. Um, we have the cross-border trade and global shipping program stand, and we would love to see you take your questions and any feedback as well of how we can help you further. Thank you very, very much for coming along today as well to eBay Open and for listening to me for the last half an hour. It's been lovely to meet you all, and thank you.